What's going on gentlemen? My name is Jack Scrimshire with JC Grooming and today I'm here to discuss with you the differences between essential oils and fragrance oils. Now as you guys know, the primary reason that somebody would use a beard product is to either condition, style, or clean their beard. But the thing is, 99% of products on the market also have some form of a scent or a fragrance. So today we're going to break down the different kinds of fragrances that can be added to your products and what the effect might be on your beard. So this really breaks down into two different categories. One is essential oils and the other one is fragrance oils. Essential oils are fairly straightforward so we're going to save those for later. Right now I want to talk about the fragrance oils and the different types and how each type affects your products as well as your beard. Now the important thing to understand about fragrance oils off the bat is that they're usually derived chemically and they always, always, always come from a lab. There are some naturally derived fragrance oils as well, and I'll get into those, but first let's talk about the completely synthetic ones. Within synthetic fragrance oils, there are actually two types. There's your standard synthetic fragrance oil and your nature identical fragrance oil. So your standard synthetic fragrance oils are always derived in a lab and they're made almost entirely of petroleum byproducts. These can include benzene, aldehydes, toluene, and other known toxic chemicals. The pros of using these in your products and in your ingredients is they're super cheap to use. So it usually means you're gonna pay less for your products. They also have scent binders and phthalates, which mean that the scent's gonna last a lot longer than an essential oil. The other benefit to using these is you can find a scent that doesn't match anything else in nature. You can have a completely unique to you and unique to your products scent. Now the problems with these are what I already listed. It contains phthalates, which are terrible for your hair and skin, and they're petroleum byproducts made up of all kinds of known toxic chemicals that can have a poor reaction with your skin, as well as cause headaches and nausea if, in, if breathed in too much. Now, nature identical fragrance oils are where things get a little bit tricky. It's a pretty deceiving way to name these because they're in fact not natural at all. The main difference is they take these synthetic components, the same things that you're gonna find in your standard synthetic fragrance oils, and they recreate an actual molecule that exists in nature. So what you're getting is a scent that is completely identical to something that you can find in nature, but is not natural in any sense of the word. On an ingredients label, you'll typically see these listed as fragrance, parfum, perfume, or nature identical fragrance oils. Some of these nature identical fragrance oils can actually contain small traces of essential oils, but this does not mean in any way that they're considered natural overall. So now let's get into the natural side of fragrance oils. There are in fact fragrance oils that are derived from natural ingredients, and this is where things start to get a little bit hairy. So these natural fragrance oils kind of blur the line between your essentials and your fragrance oils in that they actually are made using natural ingredients, but they're created completely in a lab. The way that these are made is essentially by isolating one of those natural aromatic compounds that you'll typically find in a natural ingredient and pulling that piece out. So where you would have a complex fragrance like a flower or wood, you're getting just a piece of that. So you can pick out the very citrusy piece of lemon or the sweeter piece of the lemon. You can pick out that real deep woodsiness of a piece of wood, or you can get kind of the spiciness that might be in there. So natural fragrance oils are essentially just a blend of all of these different isolates to create a compound that produces a nice scent. If your natural fragrance oils are sourced from a trustworthy, reliable source, then I don't really see a problem with using them in a, in a product. But I will tell you, there are actually no government regulations on the manufacturers to disclose what's in their products. It's considered a trade secret, and for that reason, they don't have to share anything that's in there. They can just say fragrance. So what that means is while you may be purchasing a product with natural fragrance oils, unless the company that you're buying them from manufactures them themselves, they don't know what's in that product. There could very well be some of those synthetic ingredients and phthalates and things like that that they don't even know about. Assuming that you're buying from a reputable brand, chances are they're going to do their background research and find a supplier of those fragrance oils that is trustworthy and reliable. But again, there's nothing guaranteeing that what they say is in their fragrance is actually in there. And finally, this is where we get into essential oils. So essential oils are a lot like the natural fragrance oils. But the difference here is instead of taking that isolated aromatic component, they're taking the entire piece of that aromatic component. So you're getting all of the things that make up that complex natural scent. The pros to using these are obvious. It's natural. You know what's in it. If you're getting cedar wood, you know that that's entirely cedar wood. 
again, assuming you're buying from a reputable brand. And this makes it really easy to avoid things that you're allergic to if that's an issue for you, or just to be very certain about what's going on your beard and your face. The other benefit to essential oils is they have therapeutic benefits. So companies like ours that use pure therapeutic grade essential oils, you're actually getting more than just the fragrance. For example, tea tree is an antiseptic, which means it'll clean out some of those germs that are in your beard. And there are some other ingredients that do things like repelling mosquitoes and calming your nerves and all these different benefits that are just kind of unspoken. There, we could do a whole video on the benefits of essential oils. But the only downside that I could really see is that the, the fragrance varies based on where the ingredients are harvested and what time of year and things like that. So for example, peppermint has all these different regions that you can source it from. And if you get it from one area, it may be sweeter, and another area may be a lot mintier. So if you pick up products from two different brands that use peppermint essential oils, that peppermint may be a little bit stronger or sweeter in one of the blends. Additionally, if you pick up a product in the spring from a brand, and then again in the fall, and they've since reordered their essential oils, then their product may have a slightly different smell. Now, some people view this as a con, but I actually view it as a pro. I really like the, a unique experience, especially because I'm using my products every single day. Every six months or so, I may find that that frankincense that I have is a little bit smokier, or that cedar wood is just a little bit woodsier, which allows for unique variations and just a fresh experience. Overall, you're getting the same scent. You're never gonna notice a huge difference in the scent, but if you're very, very, very familiar with the fragrance that you're smelling, you'll be able to pick up these new notes and some of the new batches, which is really, really a cool experience. There's a lot of debate in the community about where your scents should come from. And there's really no right or wrong answer in the end. It's really about what you're comfortable with and what your standards are. Some people have absolutely zero issues with fragrance oils. They've never had a negative reaction. They've never had any kinds of issues with them and they smell great. So keep using them. Now to keep things simple, JC Grooming has taken a stance of only ever using pure therapeutic grade essential oils. I'm all about transparency and honesty as a company and part of that comes with using essential oils because if I can't with 100% certainty tell you what is in my products, then I don't want to sell it to you. I want you to rest assured knowing that you're putting 100% natural ingredients on your face and you know exactly what they are before you purchase and before you use them. So this is by no means a standard that you need to hold yourself to. Experiment and try different things and see what you love. But we've chosen this route to eliminate any kind of concern or confusion around our products. And I think we can still create some pretty amazing scents. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash it, and subscribe and click on the bell so that you get notified as soon as we release a video. I've got tons and tons of plans for this channel, and this is just the beginning. So guys, until next time, I'm Jack Scrimshire with JC Grooming. Thanks for watching.